Hello guys and welcome to episode 7 of All Things Homey. I cannot believe how much we've done. This means I have been doing this for 7 weeks. I have made so many things. I have improved my apartment. And yeah, if you haven't seen those videos, I will have all of them linked below so you can watch them. So today I'm going to show you how to copycat this super expensive fancy headboard. Can you believe that is $400 just for a headboard? And this is the one that I made and I only spent $50. I started with this old bed that I had from Ikea. And if you want to see how I made that, just keep on watching. Okay, so let's start with a list of things that you will need. For the filling, you know, the cushiony part of the headboard, you will need some batting, which if you buy foam, it will be best, but batting is what I bought. You also need some fabric. I spent $20 because I went for fancy fabric, but you can choose whatever you like. You will also need some nail head trim in the color of your choosing. I chose nickel, and this is optional. If you don't have a headboard to start with, you will need to buy some wood, which is super inexpensive. Just make sure it is a four by eight, and then have them cut it to the size that you want and if you don't have a staple gun you will need to buy one as well now i only had to buy the first three things so i spent 50 dollars. but if you buy all five it is 65 dollars, which is not that much anyway and let's get started so we went ahead and removed the headboard from the bed and just placed it on the floor as you can see the batting i doubled it because i wanted it to be more cushiony but if you use foam you will need to double it also i got two yards of this if you used foam i think you could get away with one yard maybe one and a quarter one and a half something like that and we just started stapling it to the headboard as you can see this is the back of the headboard obviously and i did have the help of my husband i think if you have somebody there to help you it would be best because as i was pulling the batting he was stapling it and that made it more secure and gave it a tighter fit and a better result at the end next i laid my two yards of fabric on the floor and then placed the headboard right on top since I wanted the back of the headboard to be covered, I just took the fabric over the headboard and then started stapling the sides of it. Now again, because I had the help of my husband, it was easier for me to pull the fabric as he was stapling the sides of it. That gave it a much cleaner, flawless look. And then as you can see, the little corners on top, I just folded them as if they were a present. It's the best way that I can explain it. But basically, you fold it like you can see right here. I just don't know how else to explain it. And then once you have a nice and tight grip of it, you just staple the remaining fabric right on top. Now this part will only apply to you if you have a pre-owned headboard that has this hardware in the bottom. And I basically just took a very sharp knife, or not me, but my husband did, a very sharp knife and just made holes and then just slid the hardware into the holes. And that has worked pretty well since that part of the headboard is basically sandwiched between the headboard and the bed base and it doesn't really matter. And then we did the same thing with the other side of the fabric. Now the nail head trimming is way easier than I thought it would be. It's basically just a long strip of it and then every four studs or so it has like a little hole so that you hammer a single stud into it as you can see right here it's very very easy to use and you basically just have to be careful to keep a straight line if you wanted to like draw a line before you start hammering you could do that I just kind of eyeballed it and it worked out pretty well as for the corners this is what we did we took some pliers and cut right where the stud with the hole ends we cut it right there and then cut the remaining like three or four studs and then took the next stud with the hole and placed it right on top of the other one and then hammered a single stud into that if that makes any sense but you can see it right here so you understand more of what i'm saying and once we did that and finished putting the trimming, we were pretty much done with the headboard. And this is the result. I really, really like how it turned out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Next week, I have my official bedroom tour. So you want to stay tuned for that. This is what it looked like before. And you'll just have to wait till next week to see what it looks like 
now so make sure you subscribe thank you so much for watching